Hey guys, it's Kayciana, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the ladder bracelet using rainbow loom. You will need your loom in the diamond position, your loom hook. I'm using two different colors of elastics, but you can use more than that, and a C clip. Start by taking your first elastic, stretching it from here to here. Then take on the, your second elastic, stretch it to the second pin. So this elastic should be on top of this one. I like to do this by itself, but you can do it at the same time. But basically you just stretch it up one at a time. all the way to the top. And then the same on the other side. I will get back to you when I'm done. As you can see, I'm at, well, almost at the top. So, to finish it off, I will do my last two elastics and then cross them into the center. This one on the bottom, a lot like the other end, and this one on the top. Now, you're going to take a different color, if that is if you're using one, and stretch the elastic across like that. You're missing the first one here and that one on the top right here so continuing this all the way up remember it does not at all go over these pins it just keeps going to the top I'll get back to you when I'm done. So when you're done, it should look like this. And remember you're missing these two on that end and these two on this end. Now, to finish off the placing of the bands, I'm going to basically take my elastics, stretch them straight up through the middle, all the way to the top. I will get back to you when I'm done. When you're done, it should look like this. With a three rows on the sides, and then all these different colors in the middle, a lot like an, a ladder. Before we start hooking, you're going to have to place your capping band. Start by flipping around your loom, and then Create a capping band by turning your elastic in a figure eight and folding it over your finger. And then taking it off of your finger and placing it on the end. So right here. To start the hooking, you're going to need your loom hook. And you will begin by sticking it in through your capping band grab the blue band that leads to the one ahead of it and pull it forward like that. Grab the next one in the sequence, pull it forward like that. This is a lot like the triple single so we recommend you watch that video before continuing on further. And you continue this to the top. I will get back to you when I am finished. Now to do the very last bit of the elastics. Take your 
the same color that you used for the ones underneath it and put another one over top of the single one that you just did. Do this all the way to the top. I will get back to you when I'm done. Now we'll be, we will be going on with our hooking. Start by placing your hook in through here, pushing back this top band and grabbing the third one down. Pull it up and out and hook it over to the one on this side. Then reach under again and grab this band, pulling it up and over onto this band. Then you'll reach under there, grab this band and pull it up to over top of the first peg with the elastic stretching across. You will do the same on the other side. Continue this all the way up to the top. I will get back to you when I'm done. Now that we are at the top, you should start by taking this band and hooking it up and towards the center like this. Do the same on the other side. When you're done, it should look like this. Now, to finish it off, make a latch by sticking your loom hook through the end piece, like so, and pull an elastic up and through, putting it onto your loom hook like that. Now, pulling this one forward, you should find it a little bit difficult to get it off. And when you finally succeeded, don't forget to tighten it just in case it comes loose while you're taking your bracelet off the loom. It should look like this. Finally, on this end, take your C-clip and hook it on to the very last one on the other side of your loom. Before you take it off, it should look something like this. Now can you can pull off your bracelet. If you've seen any other of mine and Tallulah's bracelet videos, then you will know that we like to use the hook to take it off just in case any elastics break at the last minute. So gently pull off your bracelet, and although it is slower than breaking and pulling it off, it does not break as often which is very nice considering some bracelets you work especially hard on. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on what bracelet you would like us to make next. I hope this tutorial showed you the correct way to make it and yours turned out alright.
When you're done, your bracelet should look something like this. Remember, watch our other videos to learn how to make a suspension on your bracelet.